Today on Midwest Outdoors, great fishing at Pickerel Arm Camps in Ontario, an ice adventure at River Bend on Lake of the Woods, and Mark Davis with Lake Erie Smallmouth. It all starts right here, right now. You are turned on to Midwest Outdoors Magazine. Since 1967, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Sponsored in part by Shakespeare Fishing Tackle, Rapala and Storm Lures, Minnesota's Lake of the Woods, Aquaview, reinventing the outdoor experience, and the Fluger Fishing Tackle Company. Hi, I'm Gene Lollinen. Welcome to this week's Midwest Outdoors Magazine. We're on our way to have a great show for you, so be sure to stay with us, because it's a keeper. Hi, I'm Dustin James and welcome to Midwest Outdoors. You hear of places where you can catch plenty of northern and hundred of walleye a day. Well, we found such a place up here at Pickerel Arm Camps in Sioux Lookout, Ontario. Why don't you join us for a great day of fishing? Nice walleye. Oh, just this engulfed the jig. There's a good eater. Just pounded that jig. There we go. There we go. Let's put that one in the cooler. It's making me hungry just looking There's at it. There's a nice walleye for you. Perfect. Bouncing that jig off that shelf. Take yeah, a couple just, bounces, he pull your rod up there to jig it, fish yeah, just pounds it. It's just perfect. We're just out in some 25 feet of water. We just came up to 18 feet. The fish are just hanging right on this ledge here. It is a nice walleye. He likes that pink and white jig that you have there today. Yeah, just a simple three-eighths ounce pink jig head with a white twister tail. We'll let this guy get back in the water and Believe it or not, catch some bigger ones. That's right, I'm putting on a bigger minnow. I'm looking for that, that lunker. There he goes. A lot of days this summer, guys would get 40, 50 walleyes a piece. I mean, it was a really good summer for you then, It was huh? a good summer. It started out with a lot of rain, which was good for the walleye fish, and then it got warm, and it was just perfect conditions for walleye. Uh, at the main lake, we have smallmouth bass, along with lake trout and walleye northern. They all have walleye northern. And the fly-ins all have walleye northern, except for one of them has lake trout. That's a nice walleye. Way up north up here in these deep cold waters, they get such a dark golden color to them. I have nine outpost cabins on nine different lakes. They range from five to six miles away. I have a couple real close. And I got some 30 miles away, 60 miles away, and a couple 100 miles away. So. We're about three hours north of International Falls, up by Sioux Lookout, just north of Dryden, Ontario. It's all highways, it's all blacktop, all the way right up to our driveway. I have cabins at the base camp people stay at and fish. I got week stays, Saturday to Saturday, and then people can also stay overnight and then do the fly-ins, which is a four to five day package. Get that there northern. It is. Man, every time, you just let that jig bounce the bottom shelf. And this one just pounded that jig. You usually find nice bays to catch plenty of northern up here. And find a shelf for the walleye and duck into a bay to catch these guys, but. Yeah, most of your big pike get caught while you're they're swimming jigging around for there walleye. feeding on these walleye. You bet. It's a, it's a nice thing. I mean, when you come up here, you just bring in a good assortment of jig heads and maybe a couple crankbaits and a few spoons. I mean, you really don't have to pack all that heavy. And you can just jig for these guys all day. Get this guy in the boat. It doesn't take a lot of tackle. There's several float planes in the area that we charter. We use Cessnas, Beavers, Turbo Otters. Mostly use the Turbo Otters with the people. Fly in your cabin. And we catch walleyes. Yeah, there we go. He just got dropped off. He's leaving us late at night. He's going to come back tomorrow morning. And there's one for the box right there. Walleye tonight. I'm just cleaning some walleye here at Octatic and Lake in the new fish cleaning house. We 
have fish cleaning houses at about half our old post cabins and we're planning on adding them to all the rest. It's kind of a continued effort to improve every year. We add something new every year at the cabins. And so far this year, the people have really liked the fish cleaning house. Wow, what a gorgeous cabin. We're out here at Otatican Lake. This cabin houses up to 10 people, perfect for large groups or families. It's hard to imagine you can have something this nice out in the Canadian wilderness. Why don't we head on in and check it out? Hey Dustin, look at this bay here. We got the waves crashing down into this bay. We're coming from 11 feet up to about six feet on some cabbage weeds here. I'm just gonna cast this big perch plug down in here. Perch is a natural feed for them. And we'll see what we get. There's another nice northern. Just, boy, each time you're reeling them through those weed beds, one minute you think you got a snag and the next second you clearly don't. When they hit these, these northern are quite aggressive up here. So they give you a nice, Nice little fight each time. Nice northern. Got some nice colors. Those spots are always an attractive feature. We'll get these guys back in the water here. Okay. Grab them right behind the head there. Got him. Nice fish. There's a nice fish, folks. Beautiful fish. He just pounded on that. Folks, for great fishing, I invite you to come up to Pickerel Arm Camps. That was just a great fish. If you guys want to experience this, you need to come up here and catch the whole experience of Pickerel Arm Camps. Give Lee a call at the number at the bottom of your screen or log on to PickerelArm.com. With Lee Edwardson, I'm Dustin James, and Midwest Outdoors will be right back.